When I moved to Whitstable, uh, my daughter Josephine, who is a, a trained chef and a very good one too, and I decided uh, that we would buy a cafe in Whitstable which was up for sale. It was called Chatterbox and it was pretty run down. And Josephine and I um, opened a cafe which we called the Harbour Street Cafe. It became incredibly popular. Um, we did a lot of vegetarian food, um, very high calibre vegetarian, perhaps vegan sometimes, um, organic food, and uh, people still, what is it, Laura's 11, so 12 years later people still say to me, we miss your cafe. Um, the, during the first two very hard working years at the cafe, um, I, I did all the administration and the shopping and the menus and so on. And Josephine, with a team, did herself, uh, did, did the catering, the cooking. Um, Josephine's first daughter was born. Uh, this this is, was Eva, who now calls herself Alex. Uh, and three years later, she was joined by her sister, Laura. We decided to close the cafe. And life had changed very much. Josephine... Um, eventually married Louis and her two uh, girls became her bridesmaids. Um, there was great secrecy about her wedding dress. She thought she might wear something, I don't know, second hand or whatever. And on the day of her, well, before her wedding, I took the grandchildren off to buy them uh, bridesmaids' dresses. And we they chose the most lovely uh, white dresses and uh, tiaras and white shoes and white tights and everything to go perfectly. They looked like brides themselves, actually. And it was not until they arrived at the, at the church that I realised that Josephine was actually wearing my wedding dress. So the result was I spent the first half hour crying. She looked lovely. It had to be altered a little bit because it was fairly old-fashioned. But it really was the, the most uh, lovely, lovely dress and uh, she looked wonderful in it.